fix my hair. <laughs> no, it's all good. No, but yeah, I mean, it's it, it just, that's what I hear a lot. Like I hear like people comment and they're like, damn, David, I bought expensive courses and I didn't even learn that. Yeah. And so I just, I mean, and that's yeah. kind of my whole, when, when it comes to my whole marketing company and, and first of all, my marketing background, it goes way back like 20, 21 uh -huh. years, but what I've actually been doing like online full time is really building an agency and then mm -hmm. just kind of like a freelancer and just, you know, offering marketing services to businesses and that all started in 2016. But as I was kind of um, learning it and kind of, you know, just, just trying to master my craft, 2016, 2017, 2018, I just ended up finding a niche in helping people with the basics. Yeah. Like these business owners that I was approaching, everyone and their mother was, 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 was trying to sell them on expensive marketing packages, you know, doing their Facebook ads for 2000 a month. And it's like all these crazy monthly prices that were, you know, um, asking from a from a local business owner and so i knew that was going on and so i ended up just finding finding what was missing and what i realized was most of them were missing the basics mm -hmm. like the basics and that's why like a lot of times when i'm putting these videos up on youtube and you guys see them it's like basics like it's basic stuff yeah. that most people don't even think of they don't even realize or they're not even paying attention to and i i think that's what attracts people is just how simple I'm putting stuff out. I don't know. What do you, yeah. I mean, you're the one that found me. I mean, what do you, what do you think? Is it the simplicity? Is it just the basics or what, it, what are you finding that's different than it's the real life stuff for me? Like yeah. I say, like I'd put in the comment once, like, like when you click on something and you get an error and you're like, Oh crap, you know, and then you have to like, that's real. That's what's going to happen. And you don't always see that stuff. Um, like it's just crazy. Cause every video I learned something and it might, you know, it's always good to rehear those things that you're like, okay, good. That's what I thought. You know, like he's reinforcing that I'm learning other stuff. And, but then it's like, sometimes just the little takeaways, like, like that color picker that you did a few videos mm -hmm. back. Like mm -hmm. I never knew about that. I've used that so many times, you know, I should have my oats on my own website of the colors and I don't. And, but I'm like, now I can use that little, you know, so it's just those yes. little things. And then like what you're, Great. I think it was yesterday you posted and I was just able to watch it this morning um, on linking, you know, the, with Kartra and linking the website and, uh, mm -hmm. oh, the pixel thing. Like, it's just, you know, I knew what a pixel was, but then just to see it done in a different way. And yes, it's just all right. those little things that you just, you know, like, and I, now I think back to videos I've watched and I'm like, they never went over anything like that. No wonder I was so confused or felt so lost or felt so, oh my God, overwhelmed, you know? And yes. And, so, and that, that, I mean, you, yeah, you couldn't be saying it better because that's just my whole experience as well. And that's why, like, I truly believe like, you don't, you don't have to find a lot of people to follow. Like I, I literally just follow a few people that are like a million steps ahead of me, yeah. which allows me to learn something and then, and then teach it to other people that may just be a few steps behind me, mm -hmm. you know? So, so it's really just trying to find those mentors, find those people and just pick a little bit from them, pick a little bit from them, pick a little bit from them. So whatever yeah. you're picking from me, that's awesome. And then you'll have yeah. your other mentors that, are, that you're following, pick a little bit from them and then just, you know, start crafting your own little type of deal, you know? Yeah. But what do you got going on? I mean, you, you, do you do a lot of video editing or what do you, what are you doing? So I do, I, I, so I, so just the whole big picture, I used to live in Carlsbad. Too. Are you so whenever you do your videos and you're talking about <laughs> yeah. like, she look at it, I'm like, oh my god, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Um, but so, so I was a dental hygienist for 15 years, awesome. and then I got into sales of dental X-ray equipment, mm. and then now I'm uh, training dentists how to use digital X-ray equipment. And marketing has like always been my interest, my passion, my love, my like, I want to do marketing. So I started. Do um, you know Sunny Leonard Uzi? She's on. She's a big uh, YouTube person. Um, so I started following her and I did her program. Mm -hmm. And my idea was to do video stuff. Yeah. So to like record video and make YouTube channels out of people, not really out of myself, but like out of these dentists and whatever business you've wow. got, we can make a YouTube channel out of you. And then I moved more into the social media marketing. A couple of months ago, I saw a girl who posted, she used to be a dental hygienist. And I was like, oh, I can relate to that. She's like, and I was in the bathroom, like posting. And so I'm like, that's where I want to go is more of, of that. Um, and then I caught somewhere a Facebook ads thing. And then now I've been like obsessed with Facebook ads. So I'm moving more into, I want to do like, I can do your video because I've got um, Final Cut Pro experience and video. Cause you know, obviously we all know it's all about video. So what I'm yeah. trying to do is offer a package of, I will make your videos. I will edit your videos. 
um, and not so much to create a YouTube channel anymore, you know, where there's lots of videos, but to, to get them marketing for your Facebook ads, to get them on your YouTube, your Facebook, your YouTube, your Instagram, and then use them in your ads. So that's your, is that your plan or is that what you, what you, what you're already actually doing? It's what I like, I'm doing it, but so I've, I've had one client, um, it was a family member of mine mm -hmm. and it went really well. That's where I really learned a lot. Um, mm -hmm. I got him results, but he wasn't willing or just doesn't have, and I just watched a sunny video where it says like, if people aren't on board with you, then those are probably the clients you just want to even skip. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and mm -hmm. I kind of learned, like, it was great with my, my cousin-in-law to learn what I learned from him, but he's not, like, like your realtor, that woman, mm -hmm. I'm like, where is, I need people like her. You know, those people that are like, here's the money, let's do it. So I'm having a trouble, like, I feel like I know this stuff, I can do this. I need to get people on board with me that are willing to, let's do the video. Um, I, I sent a video to my realtor and I was like, hey, we should do this video thing and, and I, his honesty is kind of what made me realize not everybody is comfortable doing video. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, so I don't, mm -hmm. those are the people that I don't really want then. I, you know, you don't have to be like, cause I wasn't either and I'm still not, but it's mm -hmm. like, get over it. You know, your hair's not going to always look perfect. You're not going to sound how you want to, you got to just mm -hmm. get over it and you just got to get this stuff out there. But I'm trying to more now go, okay, are you who I want? Cause I meet, so I still train dentists every day, not every day, but I travel around the country training dentists. So I feel like I'm right in front of these dentists. I'm already getting that relationship because I'm the one that came in and showed them how to use their dental equipment. And so I want to use them as like the, and, and I look at their social media all the time. They're not doing anything. Like it's amazing yeah, how nobody is doing anything on social media. You would crush it, like absolutely murder it. Once you really figure out this service, which I can really give you my two cents and, and, and tell you how I would, how I would approach it, mm -hmm. but, but you would, you would approach it as far as what package or what type of service I'd be offering them. But, um, with your experience, with your background, with your passion and all that, you would absolutely murder it, like murder it, murder it. Uh, I feel like I, I have these visions of like, I can totally see this. And I, every day I work at it to like, so like I say, I travel a lot for work, but like this week I only worked one day and, and I'm salary. So it's great. So now I have all this time. So that's why like my morning is spent watching your videos, motivational videos, like just like Ryan Serhan. I don't know if you know mm -hmm, who he is. Mm -hmm. So, you know, like, oh, yeah. I love that guy. like just any kind of inspirational, um, Gary Vee, I love, I you love. know, so oh, yeah. But yeah, but yeah, but I feel like the dental, um, you know, so I get like things in the mail, come see us at our dental office. So I've started approaching them, but again, like they don't know me from Adam. So they're not like, yeah, sign me up for your service. Let's do this. So that's right. You know, so again, my realtor, then I got a realty thing in the, in the mail. I sent him a video and mm -hmm. then are you familiar with bomb bomb? Oh yeah. 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 Okay. Sure. So I did a bomb bomb video on my phone and that went right to his cell phone because that, his cell phone was in his card. Mm -hmm. I don't even think he's watched the video. I'm like, how, what are you doing then? If you like, you, you basically, you got a text from me that you didn't even look at. So he's like the complete opposite of like your, that realtor, that woman that you had, um, of just the, like, you're, you may not yeah. even ever go anywhere in your realty business. If you're not willing to step outside your comfort zone on your box and do this see that and that's that's kind of and that's kind of how it is and that's how it is with with majority of businesses that's how it is with the majority of people yeah right like just people in general like people are inconsistent in life like going yes. like we're already at february what are we at february 13th like how many people like this is a real statistic in the u.s alone how many people like this is a real hardcore we could for sure find this number it's a real number how many people have already given up on their new year's resolutions and it's only yeah. february 13th yep so people are they lack consistency in everything yeah. and a business owner is a normal person just like you and i they lack it as well and so and, and a lot of times they're super overwhelmed with what they go on, with, with what they got going on and they have yeah. a million people pitching them marketing services yeah so so and, 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 and they have a million people pitching them expensive marketing services. So that was another thing that I noticed in the market was that when I started learning social media marketing services and really learning this as a business, as, as, as a whole, going after local business owners, whether it was a dentist, chiropractor, whatever, when I started learning this, which was in 2016, the main, main 
I truly believe that one of the main gurus that, I, that even brought this out was Sam Ovens and Ty Lopez. Those mm -hmm. were the guys that were heavy, 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 heavy advertising, running YouTube ads hardcore in 2016. And prior to them, I never even knew about social media marketing. I never, yeah. and, and I have a marketing background. I never even knew about running Facebook ads for local business owners. And this was, this was, this wasn't that long ago. Mm -hmm. So when they really flooded the market by going after, by having all these entrepreneurs buy into their course yeah. and all of a sudden everybody, everybody has a, has a marketing agency, right? Overnight, thousands of people are all of a sudden a social media marketing agency, mm -hmm. right? All because we took a damn course. Mm -hmm. And in, in, in these courses, especially what I was learning was that, yeah, 2,500 a month, 3,000 a month, 5,000 a month. It's like, wait a minute, dude, these people don't even know me yet. How am I pitching yeah. them that right away? Yeah. And so I knew that was going on in the marketplace. So these dentists that you're, that you're, that you're around, they're getting bombarded all damn day by, by people yeah. like you that are, that are even, that, that are cold calling them. They're getting direct mail. They're getting solicited all the time. And, and, and so is every business. So. I started realizing that I started noticing that I started knowing that. And I also knew at that time that my skill level, Facebook ads, Instagram ads, my skill level wasn't even there to justify 2000 a month. Mm -hmm. Like even, I don't care if you're a successful business to write me a check every month for two grand. That's not a little bit of money. Like that's yeah. still a good chunk of cash that you're giving up to somebody in hopes of a return. Mm -hmm. And, and I knew that my skill level wasn't even there to even, even if I had the skill level, it was still going to be hard to be getting the, getting the client. Like how in the hell am I going to get people to pay me that all the time? Yeah. So I just knew that. And so 2017, 20, yeah. Into 2017, I started, what I started doing is I started requesting every single one of that, per, that niche, every single one of them on Facebook. That's what I started doing. So in your case, here's one, one point, I, one tip I'd give you start requesting dentist on your personal Facebook page. Okay. You're either gonna, you're either going to do it. I would suggest there because LinkedIn, obviously LinkedIn is full of professionals. There's a million dentists over there for sure, but LinkedIn, that's where everybody's pitching. Everybody is pitching their services on LinkedIn. I, I like I never, I, I rarely check my LinkedIn, and whenever I do, I have a million messages of people pitching me shit. Like yeah. I swear, like I can show you right now. Like I have a ton. And so it, it's already set up LinkedIn, in my opinion, it's already set up to be that professional platform where everybody's pitching each other. And so your pitch, your message, your DM is just like the other million that were sent out. Yeah. But on Facebook, it's a little different. Facebook, it's a little personal. It's a little bit more personal. It's a little bit more family oriented. People post their kids. It's, it's that type of environment. So mm -hmm. my whole thing was connecting with my niche on my personal Facebook page. That's where it started. That's where it started. We're now friends on Facebook and I'm going to start liking your stuff. I'm going to start commenting on your stuff. And I'm, and, 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 and maybe a, in a couple of weeks, I'm going to send you a message. Actually, right when you accept my request, actually, I'm going to send you a message just to introduce myself. Hey, John, mm -hmm. thanks for accepting my request. I noticed you're super successful as a dentist. That's really cool. In fact, I worked in the industry for the past 15 years doing a lot of their, you know, this, this, and this. Today, I help them get more clients. In fact, some of my clients I bring in, or some of my dentist clients, I bring in so many new patients to them, they can't even handle it. Mm -hmm. If you're ever looking for more clients, I'd love to maybe chat with you someday. Maybe I can help take your business to the next level. Until then, have a great day. Great connecting with you. Thanks for accepting my friend request. Yeah. That's, a, that's a first message that would go out to an individual that accepted my friend request on Facebook. Okay. Go message back or not. Here's what happens. Two things happen. And here's what I've been doing since 2016. They'll reply back and they'll say, well, David, great to connect with you as well. Thanks for accepting my friend request. That sounds really cool. I'd love to chat sometime. That is one reply. The second reply would be, actually, there's three replies. The second reply would be, great, thanks. Good to connect with you too. That's it. Like just very, very just general, like, thanks. Great to connect yeah. with you too. And then the third reply isn't even a reply. They just don't reply. Yeah. But that first reply, when they, when they reply back and they say, man, D, that sounds really cool. It sounds like you have some great experience. I'd love to chat with you someday. That right there is my diamond. That's the one I was looking for. So as I'm requesting yeah. all these people and I'm sending out that intro message, I'll send it out right away. I'll either wait a couple of weeks because I'm requesting so many people. Maybe it might take a few days before I even 
message you because I don't even care. I'm not micromanaging it. I'm just requesting, requesting, and requesting until I get to 5,000 friends. Now I'm at 5,000. So now I just filter that list and keep it and, re and keep that list clean. But my point is, is that as you're on your way to 5,000, you, you might have 1,000 friends, 2,000 friends, 3,000 friends, four, whatever you have on Facebook right now. As you're on your way to 5,000, you're just on a blitz. You're requesting, yeah. requesting, requesting, and, 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 and sending out that message. So every day, what I would do is I would literally, literally on my cell phone, you, won't, you don't want to do it on a computer because Facebook will, will flag you for copy and pasting and they'll think you're spamming everybody. But if you do it on your cell phone, you're, you're, you're good to go. So what I do is I literally have a copy and paste in my cell phone, in my Facebook messenger, mm. and I have one message that goes out and that was, that's the first message. That's the first message. And so, um, and, 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 and the ones that reply back, Hey man, sounds great. D I'd love to hear what you can do. Yeah. I'll reply back and I don't do it right away. Like you got some people that just instantly reply back and it just, it, it, just, it looks like you're desperate. Mm -hmm. I'll, sometimes I'll wait a couple hours. Mm -hmm. Like I'll leave them hanging for like a couple hours. Like I yeah. want the perception that David is freaking busy. Yeah. Like you ain't the only busy one, Dennis. I got shit. I got stuff going on too. Like I'm super busy. So, yeah. so sometimes I'll reply back intentionally three hours later. Yeah. Hey, hey John. Yeah. Thanks for your reply. In fact, I apologize. I couldn't reply earlier. I, I got so many dentists. I want to talk to me right now. It's absolutely ridiculous. I was on yeah. phone calls all freaking morning, but Hey, what time works good tomorrow? Send me your email and your best time. I'll add us to the calendar and email you a confirmation. Yeah. I can share my screen and just visually show you a few things that will help you take your social media brand to the next level and help you attract more clients. All I ask from you, Jack, all I ask from you is a good review on my business page. Yeah. They, they get that message that like, damn, Dee's willing to show me a few things. In fact, she's going to visually show me through her screen. So I don't have to, there's no phone call. I'm going to be able to see what the heck she can do. And all she's asking for is a good review. Mm -hmm. Okay, shit. I'll take that call. Yeah. And with Facebook, it's, it's, it's personal. That message is not going to their assistant unless they really leverage it out. I have some, I have very, very, very few. And this is out of thousands of people that I've done this with thousands, tens of thousands of people that have received this message from me, this exact message from 20 since, since 2016. It's what I do to this day. To this point, tens of thousands of people in my niche have received this message from me. And maybe, maybe two of them We'll delegate that message to an assistant. And we're talking out of tens of thousands. So the majority of these people on your personal Facebook page, that's them. So when they check that message, it's them. Like they're checking that message. Yeah. And so when they get a message like that, shit, I can give her a good review. I'll give you a good review, D. Okay, cool. Here's yeah. my email. Here's my time. Send me a confirmation. And then, so, and then I'll, yeah. go ahead. Go ahead. Well, so are you... Like it, with that review, are you doing anything for them yet or yes. just giving them information? Yes. No, heck no. I'm a closer, D. I'm a closer. So once yeah. I get you on the phone, I'm, gra I'm grabbing your credit card. Now, I'm not telling, that, I'm not telling you that in the message because you won't take the call. I'm not yeah. even telling you that I have services that I want to sell you because if I was telling it to you that bluntly, you wouldn't take the call. But if I make it sound like a friendly just consultation call. If I'm just, if I make it sound like I'm just willing to give you my two cents, Hey man, I can show you a few things. I can show you a few things that I've been doing for other dentists, you know, that will yeah. really help you take your brand to the next level. And all I ask for is a good review on my business page. Yeah. Well, you can, yeah. you could put it out like that. I'm yeah. telling you. And so what I would do is I would literally message, literally, I would message anywhere from to really, 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 really be honest without make, without exaggerating. I would probably message and this was 2016, 2017, 2018. Now today I have ads that are going out. So I'm now focused on my course and I'm focused on other things now, my YouTube channel. So I'm not really hard, hard. Actually, no, I take that back. I rephrase that. That's my, my, my morning, my morning gig from eight to 12. If I'm not on a call like this with an appointment that I scheduled yesterday, mm -hmm. if I'm not a, on a call like this, I delegate my 8 a.m. to 12 noon where I'm literally messaging. And in that messaging, it's, 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 it's literally, it's literally a hundred to maybe 150 messages and it's, and, and, and it's all copy paste. What's so crazy. And I'm yeah. going to give you some golden nuggets here because I want you to really understand where I'm going with this in my messaging. And my wife even trips out on me in my messaging. I don't even go into much dialogue. I'm not asking how you're doing. I'm not asking how the family is. I'm not asking how the weather is. I'm not asking how your, how your marketing's going. I am not conversating with you at all. Like there is no dialogue. 
it, it's, it's literally copy, paste, copy, paste, booked appointment tomorrow. Mm -hmm. I'm talking by the thousands, D. There's not any sugar coating. I don't have to sugar coat it. I don't have to act nice. I don't have to freaking, you know, try to try to try to warm you up or try to freaking try to try to massage you in a way where you'll really take my call. No, dude. It's like, here's thanks for accepting my request. Here's what I do. If you're ever open, I'd love to chat with you. You replied to me, John. So you replied back to me saying, Hey man, sounds cool. I'd love to hear what you got going on. You replied that. So I reply back, okay, great. What time works best tomorrow? Yeah. All I ask, John, but if, if I'm going to give you my time, I know you're super busy. You're a freaking dentist. But if I'm going to give you my time, I'm super busy as well. All I'm asking for is a good review on my business page. You think you can do that? Heck yeah, I can do that. Here's my email. Call me tomorrow. Or let, 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 let's schedule tomorrow, 9 a.m. Okay, great. I'll add us to the calendar now and email you a confirmation. Talk to you tomorrow. Yeah. So just let me ask you, like, so at that point, what are they thinking they're getting for that review? Here's a very good question. So what you wanted, and so here, here's where I was going at with, with, with learning in 2016 that everybody was offering super high expensive packages to your local restaurant. And I thought that was bogus. I thought that was crazy. I thought that was absolutely ludicrous. Um, so what I ended up doing is after I started requesting thousands of people in my niche, when you request thousands of people, let me make this clear. When you request thousands of people, whether it's requesting them on Facebook or freaking following them anywhere else. It doesn't matter when you're following thousands of people all in the same niche. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and let me even narrow it even further. When you're following thousands of people that all have the same job, mm -hmm. you start to see patterns. When you're following these groups, this group on social media, you start to see patterns. You start to see habits. You start to see how they're marketing their business because they're business owners. So of course they're going to, they're not going to just be on social media for the hell of it. They're promoting their business as well. Like whether it's directly or indirectly, that's what social media is to us, to us entrepreneurs. Social media is a platform to promote our business bottom line. And of course, we're going to miss our, mix our personal brand. Of course, we're going to post pictures of our family. Of course, that's going to, that's going to come with it. But, but we're a business owner. So my whole intention is to, is to, is to pr promote my business. So my point is, is that everyone thinks that everyone's doing that. And, and, and that's, that's the strategy. And so when I'm looking at thousands of people doing this, I started noticing patterns. And I started noticing, hey, wait a minute. And then I look at their page and I'm like, damn, your page, just like you, you looked at a few pages and you're like, wow, they ain't got nothing going on, right? You looked at all these dentists and you're like, dude, they all suck on social yeah. media. That's what I started noticing. And so unlike you, you have, you're on a salary, you have a daytime job, you have a, a, an income. With me, I came in in 2016, leaving my previous job. Mm -hmm. And I came in 2016, starting this without a dime to my name and no other stream of income. So I'm like, damn, my knowledge isn't quite there to, 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 to justify 2,500 a month from these people. Let me dumb it down. And, and again, after seeing thousands of people, I'm like, damn, they're missing the basics. They all want to lead. What does, a den what does a dentist want? All a dentist wants is a new patient walking through their door. That's yeah. all they want. That's yeah. all they want. But with that being said, we got to back up, Mr. Dennis. Your page sucks. Mm -hmm. Your Facebook page, your business page absolutely is is not optimized at all and so yeah. i ended up finding what was missing i ended up finding these basics and that's what i started offering in the very beginning so when i got them on a phone they were thinking they were going to just give me a good review but after i showed them what was missing and 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 after and 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 and, and as i mentioned these are people that are getting pitched by marketing companies by expensive yeah. marketing companies when I showed them the basics and I said, John, you can go hire someone for 3000 a month. You could totally do that, but here's what's missing. And when I showed them that missing piece, which was the basic step one, basic step two, optimizing your Facebook page, putting your links up, taking your 300 likes on your Facebook business page, taking that to 3000. Mm -hmm. These are basics. Like, like, let me share my screen. Let me share my screen and I'll show you what I mean. This right here, this right here, let me, this is my personal page. Okay. If you go to, if, if you, if you search for Dennis and you start. Is that the baby in that picture? Where, 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 where? Your, your little circle picture. No, the this baby is my, that I've seen before. No, this right here is my boy. This is my 12 year old son. Oh, oh, oh okay. Okay. But this is, okay. this is the so baby right here. 
Okay. Oh my God. So cute. <laughs> That's my little girl right there. Oh, so cute. And then I thought I, maybe she had already grown up. Okay. Oh my gosh. Oh, please don't scare me like that. I know. Right? Oh my gosh. She's adorable. <laughs> Time is already flying too fast as it is. Oh my God. Here, okay. Anyway. Oh so, yeah. There. He's so cute too. Thank you so much. Here, <laughs> here, here's what I started noticing. And, 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 and this is just basic stuff again it's it's stuff that most people are not even thinking of it's 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 what it's what you're not even thinking of like but at the same time i had to message you and tell you it was for a good review but once i get you on the line i'm going to point out these basics and you're going to have no problem everyone's pitching you a few thousand a month you're going to have no problem right now giving me a few hundred yeah like and 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 so again you have your salary daytime income i didn't so I had yeah. to think of ways where how can I make the money flow? Because it was going to be very difficult for me to, to justify 2500 a month from these people because my skill level, first of all, wasn't there at that time at all. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to say, okay, what can I offer? What, what kind of lower package can I offer that would actually make sense and yeah. they'll be willing to pay it and it would allow me to feed my family? Yeah. And, and so what I started with were these basics. Step one, if you go look at, if you start requesting dentists, and you look at all their pages, every single one of them are missing this. Yes. Yeah. Well, so here, so let me tell you what I, so I, when I got those things in the mail, they're like, there's one that's like, literally I could walk to their office. So I went to them. I didn't get theirs in the mail, but they're right there. Mm -hmm. um, you know, so I went in physically, Hey, I, you know, my name is Didi, And I would kind of bring in the dental hygienist thing to the, you know, it's the whole gatekeeper trying to get past. I'm like, you know, I was a dental hygienist. So I, I understand your world. You know, if the doctor's got some time, I'd love to sit down with them. So then the second step I decided to do was I made in bomb bomb a video of me and I had pictures of like that stuff where they're missing. Um, you know, others I'd have like your first six pictures are the same picture. Um, you know, I would show them like the font about the about me on one of the dentists, the whole font was different than the other two, you know, just stuff on their website their the link to Facebook didn't go anywhere on their website. So I made these little bomb bomb the videos and then I had the pictures of going over thinking I would, you know, that was my next step. Um, and then, you know, with bomb bomb, you can monitor. Um, I, I haven't checked. I don't know if anybody's even watched the video. So I'm actually we'll open the email. That realtor guy mm -hmm. didn't even open the email. That's when I sent him a separate, just a phone video. Um, mm -hmm. but so, yeah, so I get it. And like, that's where I get frustrated because I'm like, I get this stuff. Well, I get that's not right. I get you need to be doing this and this and this. I get that you have bad reviews and you're not responding to them. You know, and I looked up like, and I put, you know, you just have to get enough that it moves them down the list. Ask that person to remove it if it's not justified. Like, mm -hmm. I, I know these things. It's just getting them to sit down and like, you know, and then I had, an, I hear this video, this uh, radio ad every morning. I hear it. So finally I looked them up, which to me was like, okay, number one, radio, your, your dental name sounds like everybody else's. So that radio ad is not really doing very much because there's nothing that's okay. So then finally I'm like, okay, who is that person? I write them down. I go look again. They have no social media being done. I'm like how many thousands are you spending on a radio ad? And then people are just driving their office after they hear the radio ad, they're looking you up and you have nothing. Mm -hmm. See? So, you know, and they do sleep mm -hmm. stuff, which sleep is a whole nother thing that like I know about, I know how we can market you with the sleep. And again, the video is what I want to do. And so anyways, just to kind of go off about like, like I get it, you know, I've watched your video, like some, I think it was the realtor that you're like, they're not the same. And they're like, what, you know, and you're like, there, you have to be consistent with the name. The name's got to be the same for all of them. And so anyways, just to kind of, yes, I get that. So here, here's my point then. So that right there becomes the small package. See, so, so my whole point, my whole strategy was the fact that that's how I got in the door. Number one, it didn't go, it, it, it was my strategy, my marketing, my, my reaching out method was not door to door. Hell no. Like you don't do that. You don't want to do that. This too time consuming. Yeah. How much energy did you put in just to go freaking physically down, to the, down the street to go talk to somebody? I ain't got no time for that. Like, heck yeah. no. Like, we're on social media now. I can direct yeah. message you. Yep. And so that's what I'm trying to tell you is that the secret yeah. is, is, is the Facebook personal page. And yeah. requesting them as friends on that page and then direct message them, messaging them on the personal Facebook page and then getting them on screen share to visually show them what they're missing. 
Yeah. Asking, okay. them, asking them for a few hundred to go do that. It's not a monthly retaining client just yet. You're asking them for a few hundred to go clean up what you know should be cleaned up. Yeah. They're going to give you a few hundred to do that. They're going to give you a good review. And then in a couple weeks, you're going to have your email autoresponder go out to them and say, hey, John, just wanted to follow up. Thank you so much. All the links are listed. We got your Facebook like, at, like number up to 5,500 now. It looks a lot better than your 700 likes prior. Now we're in a good position. What I want to talk to you about next is maybe running some local, some simple local promotions through Facebook ads. That would really help bring some traffic through the door. Let me know when you're available. Click the link below. It'll take you straight to my calendar where we can jump on a call and I can screen share and show you what the next step is. Yeah. That's when you get that person back on the phone a couple weeks later after you already took them for 500 and a good review. Every yeah. 2,500 for all this crazy stuff. D came in, came in the front door offering these basic stuff to clean it up. She only offered a few, she only asked for a few hundred. The dentist was like, shit, I'll give that to you right now. And they gave you a good review. Then in a couple of weeks, now you have the relationship. Now you have that person in your back pocket. When that next call comes up in a couple of weeks, that's the next step. Now we're talking monthly retaining. Now I'm taking you to 2000 a month. Now I'm going to be really strategic. And our whole, our whole objective is to run Facebook ads or Instagram ads or YouTube ads, but I would maybe maybe start with Facebook and just say, hey, Dennis, I want to do one simple thing because you have all these things that you know that, that they can do. But what, what, what I'm telling you to do is narrow it in. Narrow it in, and when you do get to that, that step, which I call step three, now, now I'm asking for a monthly retaining fee. Once you get to that part, all you're going to do with a dentist, that's why when I look at dentists, it's so freaking easy. If, I, if that was my niche, I'd be crushing it. But I truly believe your niche should be what you're either passionate about or it should be what your experience is in. Yeah, like that's why exactly. I mean, which is, you mean, so yours is, uh, you focus on realtors. Is that what you're? Because, because my passion and because of my experience, I come yeah. from the industry. Yep. So when I'm talking to these people, I know the lingo lingo. Like I know the, the, yep. the, the, the jargon, like I'm, we're talking about real estate terms because I come from it. Yeah. That right. That, that's why in the very beginning of our call, I'm like, D you're going to crush it yeah. because you told me you came from it. I'm like, damn, yep. that right there is your leverage. They're getting calls from marketing companies that don't have that dentist background at all. Yeah. Oh, well, you can tell sometimes and even like who's doing their website and stuff. I'm like, Oh, oh my God, they're oh, using the wrong term there. That doesn't make mm -hmm. sense that, you know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So let me just tell you, like what you're saying makes so much sense because like here was like, it's totally wait, wait, opposite stop. of what I've been doing. Hold that really quick. Let me hold yeah. that really quick. Cause I just, I just remember what I was going to finish with. Oh yeah. No more going out. No more trying to cold call. No more getting flyers in the mail. Forget about that. When yeah. you go to Facebook and you start requesting thousands of dentists, that's why if you watch, watch the video that I posted today, watch that one. That one's titled why I don't give second chances. Watch that video. That video is going to, how did I not get notified about that video? Okay. I don't know. It, it, it came out 11 a.m. your time today, but that okay. video right there, it's going to give you a completely different perspective on this because you're stressed out on a, on a handful of people. Yes. The reason why I'm not stressed out on anyone is because I got thousands of people to talk to. Yeah, because I have 5,000 on my personal page alone that I continue to refresh. I unfriend a few. I'll add more. I am constantly, I have way too many people to talk to. That's why a lot of my clients, they're like, David, you're so awesome. I'm going to send you all my friends. I tell them, I say, Stacy, that's cool. But to tell you the truth, I'd rather just help you because I don't, I don't need anyone else. I have so many friends on, the, on my Facebook page alone that I can't even get to. I got so many prospects that I don't even get to. So when a person doesn't see my, my view, like you're saying the dentist, how do they not see this? Like when they don't see what the hell I'm talking about, okay, whatever. But, but what I do show them is I show them an example. So these dentists, the reason why you have to get them on video like this or screen share, I should say, the reason why you have to visually show them is because you're going to use another dentist page as an example. You're going to say, hey, John, look at this dentist. He's down the street, and this is what his page looks like. Yeah. This is what I want to do to yours. Here's what your Facebook page looks like. Here's what their page looks like. Now, just from a consumer's perspective, John, does that not look a little different? Yeah. And we're talking basic social media marketing. These are people that think that social media is where it's at, which it is. So these are the basics that are missing. Yeah. And so, and so I just suggest start, people, start getting people on Facebook. And, 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 and request, request them by the thousands. And when you can do that, you won't care on who doesn't reply. 
you won't care on who doesn't even show up to your appointment. You won't even care because you're going to yeah. have so many freaking people to talk to. It, it, it's not even funny. And, yep. and so again, I start them on a small package and, and I did it because I needed the income, right? You don't necessarily need the income because you have a daytime income. But what I'm saying is that you should still start there because when you can start someone at a small package, get a good review out of them. You now have them in your, in, in your, you now have them, you now have that relationship. Now from yeah. there, I can upsell you in the future, which is what I'm going to do. So rather than coming in on the first phone call asking for 2,500 a month, I came into the first, first phone call asking for just 500 and a good review. And, and because I have my marketing down, you're going to get an email in a couple of weeks asking you to schedule a call for the next step because the next step is when we start capturing leads. And with a dentist, it's so freaking easy because all you want to focus on is one thing. Like don't, don't try to offer all these other services. Focus on one thing. We're either going to build your YouTube channel or I'm either going to run Facebook ads. And when I do run Facebook ads, it's going to be one thing. And it's going to be the, and when it comes to the dentist, the dentist can do so many services. The dentist can tear your whole mouth apart. The dentist can do so many things to a, to a human being's mouth that's not even funny. But, but even when it comes to dentistry and it comes to that profession, there's an entry level. And, and what's their entry level? Hey, come in for a free cle teeth cleaning. Yeah. Like, right, that's, they have an entry level as well. I have an entry level to get you on the phone. The dentist has an entry level to get me as a client. First, they want to come in. First, they want to offer a free, a free teeth cleaning. And after they clean my freaking teeth, they're going to let me know that I have 10 cavities. And before you know it, I have 10 appointments that are scheduled. Yeah. They have an entry level package for everyone as well. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. so you have an totally. entry level package. Nobody's going to just go, yeah, put three implants in my mouth. Right. There's $15,000. Right. Yeah. That's and, and that's, so like what I tell you what you're saying is like, I cannot believe how much like you're changing my, because I was like, I went to these three. I'm imagining them giving me this much money. That would be so wonderful. Mm -hmm. And then it doesn't happen. And I'm like, oh my God. And you know, and you say like, I do have another job, but I'm trying to work this as if I don't, because I'm doing this number one, because I love it, but I need more money. I need, mm -hmm. I need to make a lot more money. And I would love to not have that job. Like I'm trying to approach this as if this is my only, plus I go to school. So, and that's a whole nother, like I tons of stuff going on right now, but I'm trying to approach this as if this is my only job. Cause I, I do need, I, you, when I was in sales, I was making killer money. Mm -hmm. Now I'm not making killer money and I'm used mm -hmm. to making killer. Like I need to make this work. Okay. But Here's again, like what you're saying is just like you're saying, when they don't show up and they don't care, I won't care. Right now, I'm so in the care because I'm only approached like five people. That's, that's going, what I was going to oh say. Oh, my God. That's what I was going to say. Your list is so freaking small where you're taking yes. every single person personally, and, and, and that's not what you want to do. Like, that's not what you want to do at all. I, I, I go through so many people where it's not even – it's like, I don't even care. Like, I don't even care. Yeah. At the same time, my messaging is so on point where, again, if you watch that video today, I, will. I talk about how – my show up rate is absolutely ridiculous. And it's been this way since 2016, 9.9 .9 times out of 10, that person shows up for the appointment nine out of 10 times. I close them Yeah. because wow. again, it's not just because I'm a closer. It's not just because of that. It's because I truly believe I'm starting them with the basics. I'm starting yeah. them with the, with, with just the basic come in and get your teeth cleaned. I'm just, yeah. and I'm offering that for a discount. And I'm, and, and in, in some cases I'm even offering it for just a good review. But at yeah. the same time, once I get you on the call, then, then, then I'm going to show you what's missing on your pages. Because again, all they want to know is social media. How can I master social media? I'm telling you how to do it, Jack. You're missing these basics. Yeah. So either you're going to go do step one and list all these links or, or, or I'm going to do it for you. And, and again, it's just, it, I'm, I'm just charging a few hundred. I mean, it's just for my time. No big deal. Um, yeah. so, so here's what you would do. Type in Dennis, yeah. go to people. And start requesting every single one. This and are is what you I would requesting do. this to your personal page or yes. your business page? No, Biz personal, 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 personal. I want to become friends with Adriana. Like I want to become friends with these. And 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 when when you look at some of these people and it, and it's like a crazy name. Like obviously I don't I don't request that. But right yeah. here, Jolie, for sure. Jolie, add friend. And and I don't I don't micro like look into it. Like if it says dentist, I add friend. 
Like I will. Now, are these their personal pages or are these yes, their business pages? Yes. No, these are, they have a personal page. They also have a business page. Yeah. You have to have a personal, right? Okay. So look, Steven, look, add friend. And, and, and the biggest, I truly believe, call it sexist, call it whatever you want. I'm not saying this in a disrespectful way at all, but I know for a fact you have leverage and you have the upper hand because you're a female. I know. You, no, I don't think that's sexist at all. And I try to use that. You know, you, when I can't, I, I, I know. You I know what you mean. It. D, you start requesting a bunch of men, like they would freaking accept your request in a heartbeat. You yeah. message them, they'll freaking message you back in a heartbeat because you're a female. Yeah, it puts their guard down. It, lets it their puts guard their down guard down big time. And you know what's so yeah. crazy? I'm gonna let this. I'm gonna let this be known to my YouTube fam because we're recording this, and and this is something I that I never even, I never brought this cat out the ba- out, out the bag ever before, but 100 percent of my clients since 2016, 100 percent of my clients, 100 percent of my prospects. of every single friend on my Facebook, 100% is a female. Mm -hmm. My clients are female. Mm -hmm. That's why you see these strategy calls. They're all female. Every single one of them, because it's that opposite sex. It's that opposite. For some reason, a man will, 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 will talk to a woman. A woman will talk to a man. I don't know. It's just weird. I don't know if it's, I don't know if it's just me thinking that way, but at the same time, I've been in sales for 20 years and, and it's always been that way. Like me, I always liked talking to a female because that female, it was so easy for me to pull their credit card. Like, I don't know why it was that way. And when I talk to a man, a lot of the men, they think they're all that. And, 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 and sometimes man, man, I don't know. I don't know if it was just me or what, but from a, from a male female, I know for a fact that this guy, Steven right here, he'd message you back for a fact, for a fact. Now, if I messaged him, he would freaking have his guards up. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Um, okay. That's so interesting. So, so, and, and then, like I don't post much on my personal Facebook at all. I you guess need I need to. to start to. Yeah. And, and it's, then, not, it's not even marketing stuff. It's not marketing stuff. If you come to my page, like I literally just a couple of days ago, just a couple of days ago, I posted my YouTube over here for the very first time. I never, never do it yeah. on my page. It's all me. And, and I don't want them like in the intro, of course, you'll, you'll, you'll read what the heck I do. But what I'm posting is personal stuff. I want Steven, the dentist, to look at my family yeah. and, and I, want, I want to emotionally attract him on that level. I don't want him to think that I'm pitching marketing services. I want him yeah. to fall in love with my daughter just like you did. Yeah. <laughs> you see well, that? Like, like that right there, when he gets my message, his guards are down. Yeah. Like he thinks I'm just a, a, an average family guy. Yeah. So that's all I post on my personal and, and I truly believe that's super important. I always thought that. And, and so you don't want to start pitching a bunch of marketing stuff over here. Just p- pitch the real D, like the real you. That's yeah. what's going to attract people. Um, and then where, now where, how do they know where your link is to your business page? Or right I guess up, it's that it's over on the left side. It, yeah, it's right in the intro. It's right here. Yeah. Now, now, now they'll, some of them will click on it. Some of them won't, which I don't even care. It doesn't even matter. But, but at the same time, it's, it's all about requesting and then and then me sending out that message so yeah. so over okay. here dennis i would just start requesting requesting look marvin this guy right here man in texas like you're gonna have clients all over the place you don't want to just focus on your local area nor do you need to yeah. like like right. i would start this way and 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 so when you request marvin and then you message him hey marvin this is Didi. just wanted to say hello introduce myself and just thank you for accepting my friend request i noticed you're super successful as a dentist Hey, I've actually spent 15 years myself in the industry. Today, I now consult. Today, I now consult dentists Mm -hmm. on digital marketing and social media marketing and helping them take their business to the next level. If -hmm. you're ever looking for ways to find new clients, I'd love to give you some strategies for free if you're ever in need of more clients. Have a great day. Thank you for accepting my request. Talk to you soon. Mm -hmm. That very nonchalant, very non-aggressive intro message is what gets their attention. They look at that and they're like, damn, what a nice lady. Mm -hmm. And then then again, going back to the three replies, they'll reply back, hey, sounds great. I'd love to hear what you got to say. Or number Mm -hmm. two, hey, thanks. You have a great great day too. Or number three, they just don't reply. Yeah. And and that's fine. That's fine. But I have thousands. So so all I'm doing all day is messaging and then I'm getting replies back. 
and, and, it, and it's literally copy and paste, copy and paste. They message back, yeah, I'm interested. I'd love to hear what you got to say. Okay, great. I'm actually super busy today. I know you got a lot of stuff going on as well, but send me your email on best time tomorrow. Like you got to watch today's video, D, because I talk about this in today's video. I can't but, wait. But, yeah. but I say, what's your best time tomorrow? I'll add us to the calendar and email you a confirmation. I use Zoom so I can visually screen share and show you what I can show you a few things that will really help you take your business to the next level. So I don't say what I can do for them. I'm not saying that in the message. I'm saying, hey, I'm going to show you what you can do. Yeah. So it's like, it's like they're, they're thinking it's a consultation call. I'm going to show you what you can do. I'm going to point out a few things that you can add. So, it, so it's just making it sound like, and, and it's just a message. It's, it's one message. I'm going to yeah. show you a few things that you can add to your page that will really help you take your brand to the next level. All I ask for is a good review. Mm -hmm. And again, when I get them on the phone, I'm going to point out a few. And here's another thing. Here's another thing. When you get them on the phone and you point out, even though these things are basic to us, we're marketers. So when we look at our stuff, we're like, damn, that's us basic. They're thinking that it's freaking yeah. basic, but at the same time, they don't know how to do it. it never so when up. you show them these basics, they're going to be like, damn, D, that makes so much sense. You're showing yeah. me an example of this other dentist. You're right. His page looks way better than mine. Mm -hmm. But to tell you the truth, D, I'm super busy. And my assistant, I got her doing way other crazy stuff. So what would it take for you to do this for me? And that's when I start them at the package. I say, John, well, first of all, I'm going to ask for a good review. And to tell you the truth, just a few hundred. I mean, at, at a $500 budget, John, I can go get all this stuff done for you. I can run a simple Facebook ad to take the light count up. And, and once we do that and really clean up the page, we'll talk in maybe in a week or so. And we'll talk about more strategies that will really help you getting patients through your door. But right now, I, I already know you want more patients. I already know that's why you probably jumped on the call to find out how to capture more leads. But John, we're not there yet. Mm -hmm. Let me clean up these basics first. And then we'll move on to that part. Mm -hmm. That's the strategy. So, so I, I have them thinking, damn, David, he doesn't want to take all my money right now. He, he's, he's actually starting me small. No one's starting them small. No one's messaging them on Facebook. No one's friends with them on Facebook. No one is approaching them this way. Everyone's pitching them. Everyone's calling them. People are showing up to their doorstep with a flyer in their hand. Yeah. 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 I kind of use that too. I, I wrote out like top 10 social media posts. So I am like, you know, I'm going to like give them something. And then, you know, I've only, I did that away. in one office, but that was going to be my next. No, you, 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 you request them on Facebook first, you message yeah. them, you schedule that appointment, you get them on zoom, you visually show them all that. Mm -hmm. And that's about a 30 minute call, 30 to 45 minute call. You visually show them everything and, and, and you want to have your, your ducks in a line. Like yeah. for example, step one, I add all their links. Step two, I take their 600 likes to 6,000. Mm -hmm. And here's what I do. I, I, make them pay for that. So I, so, so, so I say, Hey John, here's what I want to do. I want to get all these links listed. I want to, I want to run this like ad just because the like count. Now the likes, that's not where leads are coming from anyways. Most people think that, Oh, if I have a ton of likes, a lot of people are going to want to message me and want to do business. That is, that cannot be further than the truth ever. When you have a ton of likes or you have a little bit of likes on the business page, Facebook is only showing it to about 1% of the likes anyways. So your mm -hmm. leads are not coming from there. That's why when you post stuff on your business page, John, nobody likes it because Facebook's only shown it to 1% of your 200 likes. Mm -hmm. So your leads are not coming there. But the reason why I want to run a like ad for you and I want to take the 200 likes to 2,200 is so when people land on your page and then I'll show them my page or I'll show them a dentist that, that, I, that I helped and did this for so they can see the example. Or I'll show them another real estate agent. I'll say, hey, man, Look at Candy's page. She's a realtor in Nebraska. You're a realtor in California. Look at her page. Look at your page. Is there not a difference? Mm -hmm. And again, all I'm telling, all I'm showing them is the links. Like, so over here, click about, and then look, you see all these links. Look, I say, John, this is basic stuff, man. You're missing it. Your email's different than your .com. Your .com is different than your Twitter. Your Twitter is different than your Instagram. John, this is basic social media. You want to know how to take your brand up in 2020 on social media? I'm showing you the basic stuff that needs to be done first. Forget about lead capture. We'll get there when we get there. But right now, this stuff needs to be done. That's step one. And then step two, John, every dentist, even yourself, you guys got 300 likes. Step two, all I want to do is take that like count up to 3,300. So whatever number they have, 300 likes, 500, 700, whatever, they're not going to have many more than that, unless they're running ads, unless they're running ads. But most, if they're not, they have 
400 likes on their business page. I say, John, I want to take the 400 to 4,000. And I say, John, look at my page. When you come over here and you see that like count, is that not a different perception? And I tell him, I say, John, you don't know me. Like, I don't know you. But when you come to my page and you see a big number, does that not give you a different first impression? For all you know, John, I could have just started my marketing company yesterday. But because I ran a simple Facebook ad, I took my like, like count up. Now, all of a sudden, I have social proof. I have credibility. And now people think I'm the shit. Mm -hmm. All I really did was run a stupid like ad that cost me a few bucks. Yeah. It, what it, and that is, um, there's a specific one that says like. I've never noticed. There is. There is. Okay. We'll, mm -hmm. we'll, we'll, I'll show you how to do that. I'm not going to show you how to do that on this one because we're, we're recording this and I can't give all my secrets away to my YouTube family. Yeah. But that one, I'll for sure show you how to do it. All for sure. And all I'm going to ask for you from you, D, is a good review on my business page. Yeah. I'm going to show you that ad for sure because that is a, that right there is step two. That is a Facebook ad that I tell them to run first. John, I already know you need more patients. I already know you need leads. I already know that, but we're not there yet. I'm taking you chronologically. I'm taking you strategically through these steps. And this is what I want to do for you next is I want to run that like ad. So I tell them, I say, John, what's the budget? What's the budget? What can we put towards that like ad? And, 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 and they'll say, well, what do you, what, what do you normally put? And I'll say, whatever your number's at right now, let's 10 exit. And so the way I charge them is I charge them, I, I'll charge them anywhere from, anywhere from, well, I'll charge them like $100 per 1,000. Mm -hmm. So if they're at 500 likes, I'm going to pitch them 10 xing that number and taking it up to 5,000. Mm -hmm. And I'll say, John, it's a one-time ad. It's not an ad we're running every month. I'm not going to be spending 500 every month on it. No, it's a one-time ad. I'm going to run this ad. I'm going to take your 500 likes to 5,000, and that's going to be a $500 budget. Mm -hmm. So, so now I have John thinking that he's only paying for the ad. He's going to give me a good review. He's going to pay for the ad. I'm telling him what the budget is. The budget for every $100 that we put towards that ad, we can go up another 1,000 likes. Mm -hmm. And I say, John, I just totally recommend 10x in your number, and that would be a $500 budget. And then, and then so right then and there, D, they give me that 500 to take their 500 likes to 5,000. And my profit margin on that, they think that the whole thing's going to the like ad. And it's actually not. My mm -hmm. profit margin on that is absolutely ridiculous. Once I show you how to run the like ad, that alone is what feeds my family. So for example, at a $500 budget, I'll just, I'll just, I'll just tell you right now. I mean, for every 500 that I'll take in from just doing these basic steps, step one, mm -hmm. step two, you're going to give me a good review. You're thinking you're paying for the full like ad, okay? Mm -hmm. My profit margin, let's just, let's just, let's just call it out of 500 bucks. My profit margin on that is about 450. Mm -hmm. So what I end up doing is I end up bringing on a new client damn near every day. Yeah, wow. So let's just call it 400. We're calling, it's really 450 profit margin, but let's just call it 400. So if, if, if I can close a few of those per week, which I do, I close anywhere from three to four clients a week on just that. Just that. Okay. So that's already given me over a thousand a week profit on just that. Now keep in mind, let's say for example, I bring five clients aboard this week. My profit was 400. There's two grand that I made for the week on just that. Now these five people, they're all on, they're all in my email autoresponder and they're all going to be getting a message, an email within, within the next week or two saying, Hey Stacy, Step one and two are done. We had a great run on that. Now we're at 5,600 likes. Hey, I'm ready to start the next step. And that next step is local lead capture. I'd love to get you back on the phone where we could talk about Facebook ads and really putting out some type of promotion to get patients th through the door. That is the next step. Your page looks good now. Now we're, look now we're ready for lead capture. And so now I got these five emails that are going out. It's really, you know, given an example on these five that I brought aboard this week, those five emails are going out to them. And out of those five, one's going to schedule that appointment. One's going to get back on the phone with me. And that's when I end up taking them for a monthly retainer. That's when it's like, okay, now we're at a thousand a month. Now we're at 1500 a month. Now, now we're at 2000. And by the time I'm telling them that price, they already know me. They already like me. They already trust me. I've made their page. I completely turned around their page. No one did that for them. And now they love me. Mm -hmm. and so, and so now, and now I have that monthly client paying me 2000 a month. Yeah.
It's yeah, it, it's the, I came in and got a cleaning and it was comfortable and, and you know, I like the hygienist and that okay, now I'm ready to do that implant. Yeah, it, it's baby steps. What it's I've been step. trying to do is like, here's my whole thing. And I haven't given anybody prices yet. So, mm -hmm. uh, you know, I don't think that that's, you know, I know how much I was going to charge, but I've been trying to like, rah, you know, like bombard them with something and it needs to be more baby steps. I need to take a step back. And now I have to say to you, all these light bulbs are going off about all the videos I've watched of yours about Kartra and like how it's all, you know, I got the whole process when you would, were teaching it, but now I'm like, okay, like now I'm able to go, okay, now he's talking about, now I'm going to do that with Kartra and then I'm going to do that with Kartra. And so that's yes. awesome. And, and, and when I onboard a client also, so when I onboard them, I'll um, end up taking them, I'll email them, I'll email them, and I'll end up taking them to this page right here. I'll say, John, it was great speaking with you. And this is after I process their credit card. Uh -huh. I'll email them information that I'm going to need because I'm going to need info to update all their links. Because again, yeah. they're going to they're gonna, they're gonna know how important it is. They're going to know how basic it is. They're going to know that, that they need to get all their links. But again, they're busy. They don't, they're not going to have time for that. So that's why they're going to delegate it to you. They're going to say, D, you know what? I love that. Why don't you just do it for me? Yeah. And so, and so once I end up, once I end up doing that, where was I going with that? I was going to say something so freaking important. Um, damn, I lost my freaking, my thought, but, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I was going to say. Once I email them, because I need all the information for these links, I need, I need to log in. I need to log into your accounts. And if you don't have a Pinterest, I'm going to set one up. And it's really just, the, it's really just these ones over here. It's, it's Facebook, obviously. And then Instagram. Twitter, Pinterest, and LinkedIn. And if they say, well, I don't have Pinterest. I don't even use Twitter. I say, John, it's not about you. It's about the audience. Billions of people are on these top five. And, 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 and this is how we're going to organically expose our brand by just simply having them active, having them listed and matching every single one of them. It yeah. just makes your brand look better and it gives off one name to your audience. So after I process this credit card, you're going to get a, you're going to get a receipt for, for the confirmation, John, and you're going to get, a, you're also going to get another email that is for all the information that I'm going to need for step one. Okay. I need to log into everything. I'm going to customize all the links and I'm going to update them on your page. Okay. And so when I send them that email, here's how I do it. I'll send them the email and I'll just have them click like, look, let me show you how basic this email is because this is what you're going to, you're going to end up doing. This is how you onboard them. And this is if you're cleaning up their links, which is what, what which is what I would recommend. That is your, 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 your dental hygiene. That is your, your teeth cleaning. That is the initial approach. Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. but, but once I, once I request information, this is how I request the information. I'll send them a simple, simple email. And, and this is it right here. And the reason why I do it this way is so I can Facebook pixel them. So let me show you, um, where is it at? It's actually, um, 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 I thought it was in this one. Let me, um, 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 Wait, yeah, that's actually, the real term that I was trying to think of her name. Mm -hmm. Is it this one? Actually, damn, where's that damn email? It is, what did I do with that damn email? I thought I had it saved. What the heck? Uh, oh, actually, this one right here. Perfect. I don't know how it ended up in the trash. Okay, this is this is as simple as it gets. This is an email. After I process their credit card, they'll get an email for the for the receipt, right? This is the second email that I send them. It was great speaking with you, John. Info needed. And here's what happens. This is all I write. I have them click here to start step one. And then I bring them to a video of me. This video is me thanking them. And this video is, is, is setting the expectation, telling them what's going to happen next. Hey, John, I'm going to need your info for step one, as I mentioned. So go ahead and get that reply to that email info needed um, and, and, and get me all that information. I'm going to start that like ad tonight. We're going to have a few thousand within the next, within the next week or so. And then after that, I want you to check your emails because over the next couple of weeks, I'll be sending you more information, more value, more, more ways to teach you how to market. I'm going to be sending you more information via email in the next couple of weeks. So make sure you check your email. So I'm already planning it in their seed right now to look for my email because that next email is going to be to, and I'm telling that them in the video, I'm saying, Hey, that next email is going to be for us to schedule the time to speak again. 
so we could start step three. And step three, John, is when we start running Facebook ads to capture leads. So click the blue button below and get started. And so what I do is I have them go through here and, and I'm Facebook pixeling them. So now I know who landed on this page. So I'm Facebook pixeling them. And then when they enter their information, I'm also, I'm also um, Facebook pixeling them. So you need to also make sure your, your pixel is up because look, when they click on game time and they're doing this from their end, when they land over here on the thank you page, I need to Facebook pixel that because in my pixel and I, and I, and I categorized it under a purchase. So now as I go and run Facebook ads in the future, I can now exclude this group because I don't need, I don't need my existing clients seeing any future ads I ever do because they're already my client. Mm -hmm. So I'm able to, I'm able to, to, to create a custom audience around these people who land on this page. Yeah. And so, and, and, and now that that person opted in, that person's now on my email autoresponder and that email series is going to go out to them. Yep. Okay. So that's how I onboard them. That's how I Facebook pixel them. That's how I create a custom audience around all those people. And that's how I, I can now have that audience to exclude from future Facebook advertising or Instagram advertising. Um, yeah. And, and that was, I think that was your video yesterday where the I custom audiences. About. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And that's, so it's in, in the Kartra email or the Kartra landing page or whatever else is in there. You have to put that pixel on every page. Yes. You have to put the pixel on every page. Yes. Okay. Yes. Um, okay, that makes sense. And so, and so again, that, that's kind of just how I did it. That's how I do it. That's how I did it. And, and, um, and I have videos that I, that, in fact, I have a recent one where I, um, um, just kind of go over my numbers, you know, what I did in 2019, for example, and, and what I've done this whole time, just, I've, I've, I've I'm showing my Stripe account, you know, and, and I'm, I've, I've brought hundreds of people aboard this way and, and, and not everyone becomes a monthly client because I have, I have a criteria. Like I want, like, just like you, you're experiencing people that don't want to do video. Mm -hmm. So it's like, that's why when it comes to my monthly clients, I don't bring on a whole bunch. Cause first of all, that's not even my business model. I don't even want a lot of monthly clients at all. Like mm -hmm. I'm scaling my business to courses. That's what I'd rather be doing is selling my courses mm -hmm. rather than having to do all this stuff myself. So I'm not even looking for a lot of monthly clients. Um, but when we do get to that, that step, right, I do step one, I do step two, and then, and then they're going to get an email in a week or so about step three. And, 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 and that's where I'm going to upsell them on, on a monthly package. That's where I get more because I'm making it a good income just on step one and two. Mm -hmm. so, so I'm not stressing. That's my income while I do other things, while I build my YouTube channel, while I build my course. So I'm, I, I have other income streams. So I'm not really stressing on you becoming a monthly client. And so I, 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 I set the bar high. I say, John, what, I, what I'm going to need is I'm going to need video. If you're not the video type of person, I don't think I'm going to be able to help you at step three. Mm -hmm. Like I, I want to work with people that can do videos. And, mm -hmm. and if you can't, then, then, then it might be difficult. And then number two, it's going to be about 2,500 a month, John. And at that rate, we're going to be able to really, really bring way more people in that you could possibly handle. But I don't know if you have that budget. You know, so not everyone will, not everyone will even have the monthly budget, but in your case, they will dentists for sure. Real estate agents, not everyone have that, has that monthly budget at all, mm -hmm. at all, at all. But so that's why I, I have to, I have to start small because that small package will allow me to feed my family and, and that, and, 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 and I make a good weekly income on, on that alone, on yeah. that alone. So this right here. And so now when I bring on clients, if you love that other call that I did with that other realtor, you should have, I mean, you should hear yesterday's call, which I, which I don't think I'm going to put it on YouTube, but, mm -hmm. but I, I did record it, but this was an even more perfect client. This, this was a client that not only has the money and is mm -hmm. willing to spend whatever the heck it takes, but this is a client that has all the content. Yeah. Like this is a client that loves to do video. This is a client oh. that already has Kartra. This is a client that has all the emails already ready. And this is a client that doesn't know how to do anything that doesn't know how to do any of it. Like they know they, they wrote out the emails. They have all the videos. They're not camera shy. They do videos every damn day on their cell phone. They just don't know how to run Facebook ads and they, and they don't know how to operate Kartra. Uh -huh. but, so it's like, it's like uh, yesterday I brought aboard a, a monthly client because I started at step one and two first. Mm -hmm. And then a week later, she got my email. She scheduled a call. Shout out to Mary. She scheduled a call. And now she's a monthly client. 
and 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 I set the bar high. So 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 again, I only do that because I don't want everyone. I don't need everyone monthly. Um, that's not my model. But I set the bar high, and she met it. She met it. She has all the content. So it's like, again, if you're bringing on clients like this on the basic, you're gonna have a good income where you can now cherry pick your monthly clients. Yeah, that's awesome. That's you know, you only bring on the yep. ones that you want to work with. But if if you go that route in the beginning, and that's what I truly believe in 2016, everybody was being taught. Everybody was being taught to go after that local business today and and demand 2,500 a month from them. Mm-hmm. If if you're gonna do that, you're gonna starve because it can be so hard for you to get that client, especially when you have no experience and your and your Facebook advertising isn't even all up to par yet. Like there's still a lot to learn to just to justify that much that much per month. So if it, so I know a lot of marketers I speak to that are at that that are at that price point that have that mentality that have that strategy and they're starving. You got to yeah. dumb it down. You got to offer the basic package so you can at least eat and 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 afford yeah. groceries, right? You got to be able to offer that small monthly pack that or that monthly I mean excuse me, you have to be able to offer that small upfront package, that one-time package and then and then and then get the people in your in your in your funnel to to start weeding out the ones that you really want as monthly clients. Yep. Yeah. My, my thing was if, if I could just get that one dentist and then I know it'll work, we could prove it. And then I have that to show everybody else, but I need to start, like you're saying with the small to even get that one dentist, that one dentist is not going to just like knock on my door. And, yeah. You, yeah. You start small. And I'm telling you, when you start requesting them on Facebook and you become friends and you start liking all their stuff and commenting all their stuff, they're going to, they're going to feel, they know you, they're going to like you. They're going to trust you when they can look at a picture of you and your family and know that you're a real person. That's when they gravitate to you. That's when they open up your message. That's when they're willing to take your call. And when you're on calls, like I am all day, cause that's, what's going to happen. You're going to have so many people. You're going to have messages going out all damn day. Cause that's what you're, that's your prospecting. You're hunting during the day. You're hunting during the morning. You're messaging, 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 scheduling appointments. And, and to tell you the truth, you don't need that many. I mean, if you had, if you literally we're able to set book, let's just call it, let's just call it three appointments a day. If you were to really successfully be able to book three appointments away, three appointments a day with what I'm telling you to do and how I'm telling you to do it, Facebook message, Zoom, screen share. If you can successfully do three appointments a day, three appointments a day, you'll be closing one out of three and you'll be closing one every day. Mm-hmm. And you'd be at a thousand a week. You'd be at a couple thousand a week just on the upfront. That's what I call upfront money. That's the upfront money, the basic money upfront. And then, and then again, those ones that are willing, those will be my monthly clients later. And when you can keep that ball rolling, you're getting monthly clients every day. If that's what you want to do and have a ton of monthly clients, you would literally be getting monthly clients every week. Let's just call it every week because your pipeline is so full. You're like, in my case, I'm doing four to five deals a, a week. So at the end of my month, I've closed 20 clients all up front, made several thousand just on the up front. And out of my 20, I'm having for sure five of them come back ready for the next step. And again, that next step is a monthly retainer. So makes complete sense. I think the dentist analogy is the perfect example. Like the way a dentist gets their client, it starts small. They start small. Yeah. That's how you want to approach your, your business. And, and when you can do it on social media and do it direct message, it allows you to not have to get out of like, like I, I used to be in a freaking suit every day. Like I used to have to drive out to an office every day. <laughs> like I actually, I, say, I got my dress on, my boots. I was all right? jazzed up. And, all jazzed up. That's yeah. a lot of energy, man. That's a lot of energy. And I'm just saying with social media, with the internet, with our cell phone, the ability to direct message someone, holy crap, I'm not going yeah. anywhere. Yeah, I know. Uh, it's true. It's, oh my gosh, this you know, is awesome. So I hope that helped D. I hope, you know, that Sorry. made some type of sense, but all I can really do is, is just give you my two cents on my experience and what I've been, been able to do. I mean, that's just what I've been able to do. And, and I could easily have a ton of monthly clients paying me a lot of money per month, but I don't physically want to manage that, nor do I want to hire employees, nor do I really want an office. So, so, so yeah. I just took all my knowledge of what I'm doing with my clients. So since 2016, everything that I'm doing, these basic steps – and, and I just packed, packaged it all up in a Kartra, you know, membership course. And, and that's what my 2020 is going to be. I want to scale my course rather than doing this stuff for them. 
I want to teach them how to do it themselves. Now, in your case, yeah. Dennis, they probably don't have the time to go do it themselves. So right. that's a niche that I truly believe you can, you can demand a lot of money from. You can have monthly clients and they could be paying you a lot of money. And at the end of the day, you don't need that many. Yeah. That's another no. thing. That's another thing. People think they need hundreds of clients. No, you don't. Like if you went after a good, a good niche, like dentist, for example, and, they, and you go after a niche that actually has money, yeah. it's like, damn, if you just had five clients paying you 2,500 a month, tell me you wouldn't be good. Yeah. Like I you'd am. be good. You'd That's be good for sure. So mm -hmm. don't think you need a lot. Just start small and close a few per week so you can eat off of that money. And then, and then I, I promise you, those monthly clients will come. And yeah. before you know it, you'll be, you'll be at six figures a year just on, just on this alone. But at the same time, when you have monthly clients, that's a lot of responsibility. That's a lot of, of, of physical energy and time as well. So you might be the type of person where you want to hire employees and you want an office and you want to go that business model. You may be that person, um, but, but it takes, it demands a lot of your time and energy. Um, and so I truly believe that a powerful next step would be to start teaching and, and, and maybe start putting all this into a, eventually, it's not something you'll do today at all, but eventually I want you to just, I want to just plant the seed with you. Yeah, no, I've thought of that just in following you. And I'm like, you know, I'm like, I wonder if eventually I could start doing that kind of mom model. No, you, no, you are, you are, because that's how you're going to be able to scale your business because you can't, there's not enough time in a day for D to be everywhere like you can't be talking to 100 people a day every day like you just there's not enough time in the day so you have to leverage it you have to start putting together videos to start teaching but it's not going to be the dentist that's watching your video what you're going to at that point when you're doing and this is just future stuff yeah. at that point when you get to that level you're going to start selling the dentist on how on having their assistant go through your course yeah John, yeah. I know you're, busy, you're the actual dentist, but hey, Stacy over here, the assistant that you have working for minimum wage, she is the perfect one to go through my course to learn all this stuff for you. That way you don't have to pay me a monthly retainer and you already have her on payroll. She's going to be your Facebook person. I'm going to teach her. I put everything in a course and I'm selling this course at $9.97 and I'd love to get it to Stacy as soon as possible. It's their assistant that's going to be learning your material. Yeah. They already have her on payroll. So if, if, so if they can cut you, you know, and, and not have to pay you 2000 a month, cause I tell them, I say, John, you're either going to pay me 2000 a month or you're going to pay some other freaking Joe blow 2000 a month. Cause that's the going rate. Every marketing company is going to want something from you monthly. Mm -hmm. I'd rather teach you how to do it yourself. And since you're a dentist and you ain't got the time to learn all that, cause you got, you know, your practice to focus on that assistant, your assistant, Stacy, she's the one that I'll work with. She's the one that I can help and take her through my course and teach her all about Facebook advertising. So everything yeah. that you're learning that you're doing right now, all your services, I'm just saying eventually you're going to want to package it all up and put that into a training course and get their assistant to be the student of it. Yeah. And that gonna, could be like, again, my, like my other niche is making courses for dentists. You know, it'll be super bam. specific. Right there. Right there. There it so, is. So let me just ask you too, you were talking about like having time or whatever. Do you get them saying, well, can you post for me? Like I thought I was going to offer that as well um, no. as part of my package. Now, of course, I'm rechanging everything, but yes. do you do that or no. what do you tell them for that? No, no, neither are you because here's what I tell them all the time. I say, John, yeah. your posting isn't going to do crap for you because here's the reality. It, and this is a fact. When you take your, when you look at your personal page, okay, and this is the same for every platform, social media, every platform, Instagram, LinkedIn, Pinterest, whatever, every platform is the same. If you're a business owner, chances are you're requesting a ton of people or you're accepting a ton of people. You're trying to get your Instagram follower up. You're trying to get your Facebook friend list up. You're trying to get 50,000 people to like your business page. You're trying to increase your numbers as a, as a business owner. But here's the facts. Here's the actual facts, John. As you scale that number up and as you go from the 300 friends that you have right now on your personal Facebook page and you take it to 3,000. 99% of that friend list is going to live across the country. Mm, yeah. So when I start posting for you, no one gives a shit because no one's in that area. So if I put out a promotion, Hey, come in, come into our office tomorrow. We're going to, we're going to do a free teeth cleaning. 95% of the people on LinkedIn, on Instagram, on Twitter, on Pinterest, on Facebook, don't even live in the area. So John, you're not going to hire anyone yeah. to do that. What you're going to hire me for is to run Facebook ads directly to your local backyard 
for one promotion and one promotion only, and that's going to be the entry promotion. So in dentistry, what is the entry promotion? The entry promotion is a teeth clean, mm -hmm. right? So John, what I want to do is I want to get foot traffic through the door. That's only going to happen by running a Facebook ad to our local area. Mm -hmm. Forget about posting. Let's run an ad. I want people to click on it. I want them to download a coupon and I want them to be able to activate that coupon right away and get in your doorstep. That's mm -hmm. all that matters, John. That's all that matters. And I'm telling this to every business owner out there watching. The only, if you're a local business owner, if you're a local business owner, the hell with social media. 95% of the people don't even live in the area. So why are we posting? Now, now, now you want to post to at least look active, but at the same time, no one cares. Mm -hmm. The only people who care the only people that I care to get my message in front of are the people that live one mile away from my doorstep that can come into my office tomorrow. Mm -hmm. So I have to dump all my energy. I have to dump all my resources. I have to dump all my money into getting their attention. The hell with everybody else. Mm -hmm. The posting, that's why, again, back to what I'm saying, when you're posting on your business page, no one's even liking your shit, John. You got 700 likes and you got, you got 700 people that like the page, but you got three people who like the post. Because again, Facebook's shown it to 1% of the likes, but at the same time, your 700 likes are all people who live across the country. They're not coming to your practice anytime soon. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So posting, okay. no, don't waste time doing that. You don't even need your assistant doing that. That's a waste of time. Mm -hmm. Let's really see an ROI now, and that's only going to happen by running a Facebook ad. And I say, John, how else, and I tell this to my, my clients all the time, I'm like, dude, how else are you going to get the attention of your local audience? What are you going to do? Cold call, Stacy? What are you going to do? Door knock? What are you going to do? Put your face on a billboard? How much is that going to cost? What are you going to do, John? Continue to run freaking radio commercials? Who the hell is even listening to that crap nowadays? Like yeah. all this offline marketing that you're spending money on, John, because you're a dentist and you got lots of money. All this offline stuff to get people's attention that live in our local area. I'm just saying for a fraction, we need to be running a Facebook ad, getting them to click to download a coupon. And also be building an email list of all these people. So now we can email them promotion after promotion after promotion, and we no longer have to run Facebook ads for them. So John, all I want to do for you is I want to clean up these links. I want to run your like ad, and you're going to pay me a few hundred to do that. You're also going to give me a good review. And in a week or so, you're going to get an email from me regarding step three. And that's when we're going to get back on the phone, John, and I'm going to show you my secret strategy to bring more people through this door than you could possibly handle. And, 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 and John, and I, I tell him that on the first call. I say, John, but the reason why we're not starting there yet is because we need these basics cleaned up first, and, and that monthly budget is going, to, is going to consist of a budget. So I'm already planting the seed in their mind and saying, hey, man, be willing to hear what I'm going to say about step three because it's going to take a few hundred a month. If we're looking at capture leads, it's going to take a budget. Mm -hmm. so, so we'll talk then, but right now we're not there. So by the time I get them back on the phone in a week or so for step three to start running actual ads, they're already ready to spend money. Mm -hmm. They're already ready. And, and again, I have one objective, John, and, and I make it very clear. I say, all you're going to hire me to do is to run an ad to get people to download this coupon. That is it. Mm -hmm. There is nothing else you need to be doing. No posting, no freaking, none of this other crap. None of it, none of it, none of it, none of it's necessary. Let's get the attention of our local audience. And so at a fraction, even with my cost, John, what I'm charging you, it's still a fraction of what the hell you're putting out. You're putting out 10 grand a month on the freaking newspaper. Yeah. Like, dude, come on. Let me help you cut your cost and let me help you freaking get people's attention in our local audience. And let me help you put together your landing page because you don't know how to do that. Mm -hmm. And let me help you put together this email series. So what I end up doing at the end of the day, and I'll end it here, with you, D, what I end up, what they end up paying me for is to run that Facebook ad for that one promotion. It's the entry level. I know, John, you offer all this other crap, but what is the entry promotion? What will get someone in the door? What's the first step? It's the, it's the teeth cleaning. So let's run some type of coupon where I can, where, where you're going to end up paying me to run the Facebook ad for that. If we could start people at that and get people through the door, you could upsell them on everything else yourself. So, so not only are you, so here's what you're going to be paying me for, John. And this is how I justify 2,500 a month. I'm going to be running this Facebook ad to get people to download this coupon. When they see the Facebook ad and they click on learn more to download the coupon, I'm going to then take them to a landing page that I'm going to be creating for you. 
once they enter their name and email, they're put onto an email list that I'm going to manage for you. Mm -hmm. So I'm running your Facebook ad. I'm managing your landing page software, which I get them on Kartra. So now I make the affiliate commission, right? I get them their own account. I say, John, you're going to need it, bro. Like you're going to need it. We need landing pages and we need an email autoresponder and we need a calendar. So, okay. So, so they have their own Kartra account that you're in and that's where you're making their pages. Yes. And, yes. Yeah. I'm creating okay. the landing page. And, and what I do in my Karcher account is I create the pages already. Uh-huh. So and I already have them so, into their, into their account. And I just import it into their account. Okay. And, and, and so, yeah. And what's so interesting about what you're saying here too, and, and it might've been in a video that you had said it, um, is that like, this can sound so complicated to someone and that's kind of what you want it to sound like. Right. Because then the dentist is like, yeah, that's why I need you to do this for me. And yes, yes. Yeah. And it, but, but, and, and not, but, and I want them to also understand how basic what it is I'm doing. Mm -hmm. We're running a Facebook mm -hmm. ad for a coupon. That's it. Yeah. That's it. And that's, what's going to bring foot traffic to the door. That's yeah. what's going to allow us to build an email list of thousands of people in our local backyard, because whatever marketing they're doing, that's what in 20, that, that, that is what the, that, that's your bread and butter in today's internet business building world. The, mm -hmm. the, 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 the golden nugget, the silver bullet, the golden goose is an email list. Yeah. All this other offline marketing that you're doing, John, newspaper ad, radio ad, promotions, flyers, all that crap. The one thing it's not doing for you is building an email list. Yeah, exactly. So you have all these people and you ain't got no one's contact information. Yep. So what I'm going to do for you is I'm going to collect emails. I'm going to build an enormous email list for you where at the drop of a dime, you can email any promotion and have thousands of people see it mm -hmm. because these are people who opted in a month ago, two months ago, three months ago on our initial promotion. Mm -hmm. So they have all these other services they can provide, but that's not what they're hiring you for. That's your, jo your job, John. Your job is to upsell them once I get them in the door. My job is to get them to the door. That's it. And, 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 and the only reason why you're even marketing is to get people to the door. So I'm going to get them to the door this way at a fraction of what you're already spending. And I'm going to do the landing page and I'm going to build this email list for you as well. Mm -hmm. That's what justifies 2,500 a month. 2,500 a month to manage all that Facebook ad, landing page, and email automation. You're managing those three things. That's it. That's the only thing that's make them, that makes them money. That's the only thing that makes them money for any business. So, and that, you know, for a dentist, like that's so low for a dentist. You know, I know, I know. $2,500. So right? That's why I like, said you're going to crush it. That's why I said you're going to crush yeah. it. You have that background. You know the lingo. lingo. You know how to talk about that industry. You yeah. have that experience. So when you can bring all that into what you're about to do and then, and then, and then justify why you, why, why I'm charging you 5,000 a month, mm -hmm. you're going to kill it. Like they're going to relate to you and not, and have no problem at all paying you. And, and, and that's why at your case, yeah, 5,000 a month, 5,000 a month. And this is everything I do for you. That's the number that I actually had. <laughs> go get, so, go yeah. get five clients and you're good. Mm -hmm. And, and they're paying for the Facebook ad. Yeah. Right. Right. So they pay you your retainer 5,000. Or let, let's say, let's say your retainer is 4,000 and you put a thousand into Facebook advertising. Mm -hmm. That's what I would do. So I would just call it 5,000 and get that number planted in their mind. And that's going to cover your Facebook advertising, John. And that's going to cover my monthly retainer to manage your Facebook ads, your landing page software, and your email automation. Yeah. And, and our whole goal, John, is to have tons of people in our local backyard to see your ad every day and download your coupon. We need them in the pipe and that's what I'm going to do for you. I'm going to build this email list and, and, and that's going to be your gold because you don't, you don't got that going on now. And, and yeah. so that's kind of how I would do it. D. Awesome. You know? Thank you so, so much. Oh my God. Yes. You're what so, an eye so opener welcome. this whole thing was. And like, I'm so inspired now to like, to just take it in that other direction, which is. Yes. Narrow yeah. your service, narrow down your services. You don't, and, and, and yeah, you don't need to offer all this other random stuff. You'll, you'll do it just out of maybe kindness, maybe set up their YouTube channel, just little random stuff every, every now and then because you know what's yeah. missing. But the main, main, main service, I would, I would keep it really, really narrow. That, yeah. way, that way they know exactly what they're paying you for. Mm -hmm. um, 
And, 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 and again, I would, I would keep it that simple. Facebook ad, landing page software, and email automation. That, that's what's going to make them money. So yep. awesome. that's what I would do. So okay. one huge favor from you, D. Yes. You give me a review on this business page. On that one. Absolutely. Awesome. Absolutely. And I'm going to give you one too. So send me your business page. I'll, I'll give you a review on your page as well. Okay. Awesome. Thank you so much. Yes. Message me or, or comment or email me if you need anything and we'll jump back on. Okay. Oh, and Thank I you. just, when I looked over earlier, it's because I got a notification about your video. On my iPad. <laughs> <Awesome>. <laughs> so now I can go watch the latest. Right on. Right on. Yeah. Watch that one. And, and just, and just kind of see how I think when it comes to people standing me up and not showing up for the appointment. Yeah. Like I just break it down on how I just don't That's care. Why I, got, I don't give second chances. I, I got yeah. too many people to talk to. Like I can't chase you around. I ain't got time. Mm -hmm. you know? So yeah. So hopefully that helps and just let me know if you need anything else. Awesome. Thanks so much, David. Right, You're welcome. All right. Bye-bye.